Two circular sewers, each with a slope of 0.5%, are undergoing dye tests. One sewer is constructed out of brick with cement mortar, and the other sewer is plastic. What can be expected at the conclusion of this test? Assume that during the duration of the dye test, both sewers are flowing at a depth of 6 inches. So the options are, the dye in the brick sewer will appear before the dye in the plastic sewer, the dye in the plastic sewer will appear before the dye in the brick sewer, the dye in both sewers will appear at the same time, or there is not enough information to determine which dye will appear first. So this problem is a really good example of a problem that can be solved quickly using conceptual knowledge or really slowly using brute math. Uh, this problem gives us enough information to realize that we can use Manning's equation to solve for the velocity in each sewer. However, given that the sewers are identical except for their material, we can also use our understanding of hydraulic concepts to recognize that the sewer with the higher Manning value, aka the rougher sewer material, will be the sewer with the slower velocity. Conversely, the sewer with the lower Manning end value, aka the smoother sewer, will have the faster velocity. A quick glance at the table of roughness values on page 346 shows us that brick and mortar sewers have a Manning's N of 0.015, while plastic sewers have a Manning's N of 0.013. With this in mind, we can see that the dye test in the plastic sewer will move faster than the dye in the brick sewer, leading us to our answer. The alternative would have been to have solved for the hydraulic radius of a one foot diameter sewer and then used that to find the velocities of both sewers. For certain problems, understanding theory is all you need, and in this case, that's all it took to get us our answer.